Hello student of class 10. Today let's understand how acid and base react and what product will produce. This is very important where acid and base react. Acid anything which consists hydrogen ion and base anything which consists hydroxide ion means OH negative. So if H ion means H positive and OH negative react then always water will form. So in this case we will observe that water must be formed because water is a neutral product. So let's discuss this activity to understand how do acids and base react with each other. So to perform this activity positive number one take about 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution in a test tube. Remember, sodium hydroxide is a base and add two drops of phenolphthalein solution. Student, remember phenolphthalein is an indicator but it is a synthetic indicator, it is a man-made indicator. So you have to add phenolphthalein solution, about two drops with the 2 ml of dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Then you observe the color of the solution. Now you add HCl solution to the above solution drop by drop. So here you have to add dilute HCl solution to the above solution drop by drop. Okay. Now again you observe any color change or not. So question arises here, why did the color of phenolphthalein changes after the addition of an acid? Now add a few drops of sodium hydroxide to the above mixture. Does the pink color of phenolphthalein reappear? In the above activity, we observe that the effect of base is nullified means neutralized by an acid and vice versa so the reaction taking place can be written here like this sodium hydroxide plus HCl sodium hydroxide is a base HCl is acid whenever both react then salt sodium chloride and water and water form so here sodium chloride is neutral product and water is also neutral product so here both products are neutral so any reaction where the products always form neutral we can say this is a neutralization reaction so remember acids whenever react then always salt and water form so this is the very rare equation where water is forming so this reaction is the example of neutralization reaction so what is neutralization reaction the reaction between an acid and base to form salt and water is known as neutralization reaction so you can write in equation this way base plus acid to form salt and water so in this activity student you see first of all we have sodium hydroxide solution and we test it is base or acid by using phenolphthalein after that whenever we add dilute acl solution so this base, basic solution is nullified or neutralized by this acid whenever we mixing or adding this acl solution with the sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop then the basic property is decreasing and gradually it is coming in neut neutralized form. So this is very important. Student remember neutralization reaction, the reaction where base and acid react to form salt and water. So in which reaction water form in neutralization reaction? In neutralization reaction all products always form neutral. Now reaction between metallic oxide with acid. To understand, let perform an activity. Procedure number one, take small amount of copper oxide. Copper oxide 
is a metallic oxide because copper is a metal you take in a beaker and then you add dilute hydrochloric acid slowly and stir now you know the color of the solution what happened to the copper oxide you will notice that the color of the solution become blue green and the copper oxide dissolved Dissolve means it will mix throughout the solution. The blue green color of the solution because the formation of copper chloride in the reaction. So, in this reaction, metal oxide and acid can be retain metal oxide and acid to form salt and water. Metal oxide here is copper oxide. And an acid is ACL and here the product are salt and water so you can write the equation copper oxide plus ACL to form water and the salt so Remember when metal oxide react with acid then also salt and water form like neutralization reaction because metal oxide is basic in nature so we have come to know in our previous slide that if acid and base react then salt and water will form so in this case also same thing because we know that metallic oxide is basic in nature how we have come to know why the burning of magnesium ribbon when we burn magnesium ribbon then whatever ash deposited in the china dish that was magnesium oxide and we learned that magnesium oxide is basic in nature means any metallic oxide is basic in nature so whenever metal oxide react with acid it means that base is reacting with acid then we know that base and acid if react then salt and water will form so remember this is also like neutralization reaction